Well, as a lot of my longtime viewers know, I'm absolutely nuts about VFD electronic games from the early 80s. And I love Pachinko. Uh, it's a big hit over in Japan, has been for a number of years. I've been to a few places that have had Pachinko machines here in the States, and I absolutely love playing the game. I don't know what it is about it. You're just flipping pinballs up in this play field, and they bounce around in these little pegs and laying these different baskets and stuff. I just find it kind of zen-like for me just to sit there and chugga, 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 throw those balls around the play field. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Well, over in Japan, they got a VFD game called FL Game Pachinko. Uh, it was, let's see, what's it say here on the side? Sakuda Original. I don't know if that's a toy company or not. Uh, everything is, Jap is Japanese on this box. I can't read Japanese, unfortunately, but I do know how to play Pachinko. And this is a really great VFD electronic game version of Pachinko. I've had a few of the LCD ones, which I like, but VFD, I love VFD games, as a lot of you know who've watched my channel for a number of number of years. Anyway, really cool looking box. It has a nice little picture of the actual game machine on the front here. Of course on the back it gives some of the features, describes what all the buttons are which I'll cover here in a minute. It does run on four batteries and what's really cool is it also has a built-in little slot machine feature as well. So when the slot machine activates and you start hitting the button here you'll start to lock in the different tiles and depending on what tiles you lock in, will tell you how many of the pachinko balls that you'll win. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like a combination thing going on there. And of course, you hold down the fire button for a certain amount of time, and it puts more force on the ball to flip it around up into the play field. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at what's in the box here. This thing is in mint condition. I was really happy to get a hold of this. It still has its original plastic sleeve in there. Did a good job packaging the crazy thing though. Pull this out. Take the little sleeve off. Whoop. Look at that. Nice clear screen. This one has the blue little, uh, little fire button here. So the red, I can show it on the package. Of course the batteries go in right here. Runs on four C batteries. Has a little instructions right here, which you know I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what that says. And also the box, we have some kind of manual here. This looks like a warranty card. That's kind of cool. I've not seen a Japanese warranty card before. That's awesome. And then we have like a little sticker down here in the bottom of this little box here. It says what it is, FL Game Pachinko. Uh, the toy company name down in there. That's cool. And of course we have the manual. Pretty straightforward. Explains the operation of the machine in Japanese. It's not a very long manual. How to put the batteries in. Shows the slot machine and how many balls you can win. You can win 70 if you get the little symbols here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> get 12 with those. And you get one with like, any kind of combination there. So the whole idea of the game is to see how many of the pachinko balls you can win. Over in Japan, you can actually change those pachinko balls for prizes and things like that. I would love to make a trip to Japan sometime to visit some of the pachinko parlors over there. Uh, I think it'd be really awesome to do that. So let's put some batteries in this little bad boy here. Well, first let's take a closer look at it. I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see a little bit better. So here's a close-up of the controls. We have our power on off right there. We can turn the sound on and off. Then we have our skill level. We have skill level number one, skill level number two. Then we have our start push button. Then we have the pachinko ball fire button. And like I was saying earlier, the longer you hold it down, the harder it'll shoot the ball around. And then we have our slot machine button here. So we can stop each one of the little spinning reels one at a time to see what kind of pachinko ball we can win. Pretty cool. Sliding it up, you can see the play field graphics here. Pretty nice. Pretty pretty clear pretty pretty clear screen on here as well. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's fire this thing up and give it a try. 
Oh, before we get started, I forgot to mention, it does also have a power jack on the side as well. Forgot to mention that. All right, now let's fire this thing up and give it a try. All right, let's turn it on. As soon as you turn it on, it goes into a demo mode. It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna do skill number one, sound on. And we're gonna start, okay, here we go. Oh. Awesome. Want some balls. Let's see if we can get the slot machine to activate. It's a pretty good VFD game. Oh, come on. Let's get that slot machine to activate. There we go. So we hit it once, stop it there. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, uh, oh. Now this kind of reminds me of Mario Party a little bit. Not Mario Party. Oh, look! I won some pachinko balls. Awesome! Uh, what's that game? Super Mario 2, when you had that little slot machine thing, you would spin around to try to in extra guy, win extra guys. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Oh, cool. Let's see if I can get over 100. Yes! Let's do the slot machine one more time. Oh, come on, I gotta lock in another one. Come on, get over there. Ooh, almost got it. Ooh. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's get that slot machine going. Oh. Come on, just one more time. Well, either the slot machines will activate, or I'm gonna get to 200 balls and quit. One of the two. Come on. Okay, well, you saw the slot machine operate at least once. Pretty cool game. That's FL Pachinko, Game Pachinko. Pretty cool. Really great addition to the VFD uh, game collection. Uh, if you like VFD games like I do, uh, this is one you may want to look at. There's a few that are available over in um, England I like to get a hold of, made by Grandstand, like a Mr. Go and Pingo and things like that. But those are very expensive VFD games. I was just happy to get a hold of this one, which I've been looking for for about oh, a few years now. So I finally was able to get one. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.